the request of Zazen is to wake up, to be what is. And the nature of human consciousness is, is to take that elemental experience and fold it into the reality that we habitually make. And usually fold it in so thoroughly that what's really being uh, potent and drawing us in is that habituated version of reality. So, awareness. Um, over the years I've grown fond of the word noticing. This is the quality of awareness. Like right now, I noticed the sound of a siren somewhere nearby. I noticed. I didn't intend to listen to that ambient sound. I didn't bring it forth because of my concerted effort and diligence and the state of consciousness I'd created. It simply arose and was noticed. This is this awareness is the heart of Zazen, noticing. And so let's try that on. Without adjusting your body, your state of mind. Just notice. What comes into awareness? Can there be noticing of how what comes into awareness shifts, changes? Some of the experience seems light and fleeting. Some of it has thought to it that leads to other thought. Noticing is simpler, more immediate than thinking. It's the steady stream of consciousness that's always happening. And in that experiencing, the noticing gets taken over by the response to what's noticed, the labeling, the identifying, the judging, the associated thoughts. Often when we sit, 
we think, I need to stop that. I need to change that. But actually, the challenge of Zazen is wake up to that being what it is. The slogan I made up for myself was experience the experience being experienced. And the process of experiencing has an influence on the consciousness that's experiencing. We don't have to figure out what that influence is. We don't have to know what it should be or should not be. Um, this is the foundation of the awareness of Zazen. It's wholehearted engagement without a purposeful goal. Sometimes in Zazen we say, we start at the finish. We start with awakening, and then we notice the endless ways consciousness is hijacked and drawn into a version of reality. But the nature of consciousness is cyclical. Sooner or later, the way it has been hooked by thought and feeling and psychological significance, the way it's been hooked by that pauses and there's a returning to noticing. In that moment of returning to noticing, nothing needs to change. The request is experience the experience that's being experienced. We return to awakening. We start with awakening. The mind gets hooked distracted, preoccupied. It's interrupted by the cycle of consciousness, by another moment, and we return. And as we continue to do that, what happens between the moments of awareness, the moments of noticing, becomes more available to also be noticed. And this is where the art of Zazen arises. Yeah. Because there are ways we can support the noticing. And it's an art because we can take up a process, a way of supporting noticing, and then we can turn it into a busyness. We can turn it into a goal in itself. And then we're busy. And in our busy, 
We're too busy to notice. We have too much to do because we're doing zazen. And, and so this noticing, the place we start, the place, the state of consciousness we start with in sitting, the place we return to, the place that teaches us the nature of awakening. As we notice, we can notice the distinction between the moment of noticing and the moment of Somehow, we got caught up. Consciousness moved inside its own construct. And entered a kind of dream where that reality, that version of reality, is all there is. That sometimes that can last for the rest of the period of zazen. But the request of zazen is to ho however it shifts, whatever it's created, rather than live inside the dream, notice and experience how it is right now thinking about this. So in relating to that, we have traditionally in Zazen a methodology. It's an art. The methodology is an art. The methodology is the somatic, the breath, and engaging the two of them in a way that they facilitate and support awareness. So again, without adjusting your posture in any way, or trying to control your mind in any way. With your eyes open, just see whatever is being seen. And we're going to continue this practice for a minute or so. And as you do it, count the number of times you blink. And we'll pause. Did you remember the count the number of times you blink? Did you notice? So an exercise you can experiment with. And hopefully an exercise that's frivolous enough that you don't set up for yourself a right way to do it that you should achieve, that you should accomplish. You know? But it can just be some quirky way of 
attending to consciousness. We attend to the number of times we blink, not because it really matters what number of times you blink, but it facilitates awareness. Sometimes in Zen, we call that effortless effort. No? There's a gentle effort in counting the number of times we blink. But it doesn't have to be any special number. You don't have to try to make yourself blink less or blink more. Just let it be an aid to just seeing. And now, bring your awareness to hearing. And you can leave your eyes open or maybe start with your eyes shut. And let me suggest that you hear like surround sound. The sounds coming from whatever direction they come. Then experiment with opening your eyes. How does that influence hearing? So close to the heart of Zazen, the yoga of Zazen, we're exploring that. Is it possible to give over to non-thinking, just being, just seeing, just hearing, just feeling, just tasting, just touching? What kind of effort is that? So this realm of just being, this is the proposition, this is the gift of Zazen. 